Welcome to Big Screen TV, the online music TV show that's here to knock your bloody block off. I'm Hal, and I'm a crying, walking, sleeping, talking, living doll. <laughs> Now, as was mentioned earlier in the series, my co-host, Sammy Tinkerbell Dobson, has gone and got herself a new, a little, a pu -pu 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 puppy. Hello? Hi, I'm Sammy and I've got a puppy. And I, I feel like I haven't slept for days because I haven't slept for days. What have we got coming up in the show, Sammy? Uh, in the studio. Courtney Dixon. I'll take it from here, you crazy canine lady. Uh, live in the studio, we've got Courtney Dixon, and we've also got recorded performances uh, from Phoebe and Katie Mack that were filmed uh, at the old cinema laundrette over in Durham. Uh, we're going to be chatting with Courtney Dixon uh, and finding out uh, what makes her tick. We'll be asking her our usual daft or not daft questions, and we'll also be talking to her about the various collective nouns for different animals. And we'll also be asking her the various different collective nouns for animals. Shh, sweet child, and sleep. On with the show. I always hate it when 
here with Courtney Dixon and we're going to be chatting to her about the collective nouns for various animals. Hi Courtney, how are Hi, you? Hi, I'm You're good. Right. So obviously Courtney, you've got the song Parliament of Owls. Yeah. Big owl fan? I actually really love owls. I feel like uh, they're my spirit animal. Right. Well, actually maybe they're not because I'm not that wise. <laughs> <laughs> but can you turn your head like 360? I can do that. Do you, can you emit yeah. a pellet? A what? A pellet. A pellet. Do you know about owls' pellets? Owls' oh, pellets are like the darkest thing and people don't know about it. So owls consume whole creatures, like bones, the lot, and then you've gone. They emit a pellet <laughs> that's... So it's all the like, like the skull of a mouse and the, 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 the fur and all of the, the bits it can't digest. It'll <laughs> uh, the back out. Little pellet. That's what an owl pellet is. And so that Nuts. doesn't come... No. no, no. Beak first. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> but you did just make a lovely owly noise there. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, don't like owls much anymore now. <laughs> Sorry, I hope I, I, no, I haven't put you off an owl. They are beautiful, They are beautiful, though. very wise. They're so gorgeous. Yeah. Let's get into the meat and bones and the pellets of it. <laughs> we have a list here uh, of various collective nouns for animals. Some are true yes. and some are false. We're going to put them to you and you have to d decide if they are true or false. So, Courtney. A shrewdness of apes. I think that's definitely true. Well done, it is indeed <laughs> yeah. true. Uh, a blindness of moles. Uh, oh God, that makes sense because they're pretty blind. But I feel like that might be too obvious. So oh, I'm going to go true. It oh, was false. Oh, oh, oh. And, you, and we were like, <laughs> she's rumbled us. She's absolutely rumbled us. It's a labour of moles. Oh my God. Go <laughs> dig, dig, dig. That's all they do. Work, work, work. That's the moles. <laughs> Okay, next up, a constellation of alligators. I think that's false. Well done, it is indeed false. The true one is a congregation. Like a wedding. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's oh, nice. Yeah, it's not lovely. Yeah. Except when they eat you, obviously, but yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> it's a very violent wedding. A flamboyance of flamingos. True. It is true. Well done. Oh, you are up on these collective <laughs> yeah. nouns. A sleuth of bears. True. Well done, it is indeed true. She's on fire. A thunder of hippopotamuses. I think that is false. It's true. It's true. Oh, God. I've got a run of oh, true. <laughs> okay. There you go. It's as simple as that. A mozzarella of buffalo. Oh, that's false. I know. We put it in for a laugh. Uh, a bastard of wasps. I mean, they are. Yes. Um. <laughs> they are. High. Not. Uh, false. It is false. It's a swarm, of course. Oh, yeah. A nuisance of cats. Mm, false. It's oh, true. It's true. Because was... cats are pricks. Yep. There's been Apolo many, many words for collections of cats. A conspiracy of lemurs. Oh, I like that. I'm going to say it's true just because it's nice. It is it's true. true it is nice. nice. Two yeah. I'm going to give you two points because you know it's true I'm going to rewrite nice. the song Parliament Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be that. <laughs> the conspiracy of lemurs. Uh, okay, a quango of camels. Oh, that's class. That's got to be true. It's not. Oh, it's God. false. The real one is a caravan. Caravan of oh, camels. Oh, see, if you had said that, I would have said that was false. A flop of otters. Oh, true. It's false. Oh, it's Courtney. a bevy or a romp. Oh, God, I'm losing it here. <laughs> a murder of crows. Oh, that's true. Well done. So quick. I know that one. <laughs> a wisdom of wombats. That's true. It is true. Well done. A fornication of rabbits. True. False. Oh, it's a colony. I got cocky. I got cocky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a wisdom of owls. That's... No, that's false. <laughs> It is oh, also what? true. It's also true. We tricked Courtney Dixon. There is more than one collective noun for owls. Why did I mention that on the song? Right, take the single off there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> pull it down, pull it down. We're going to rewrite it. Okay, and right. a Nancy of skunk. Oh, that's true. I mean, oh, that's false. <laughs> It's false. Oh, it's a reference to the band. <laughs> <laughs> she fell for our craft. I love it. Your head, you're like, definitely heard that. Oh, that's yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Um, a fist of toads. False. Correct. Or oh, then you get a tick for that. Oh. And a business of ferrets. Hmm. True. Well done. Well, you went out on a high. Courtney, you scored 14 out of 23. That's pretty good going. That's a good yeah. score. That is a very good score. Thank but you very much. Finally, uh -huh. what would the collective noun for a group of Courtney Dixons be? Oh, a, a fluff of Courtney's. A fluff of Courtney's. <laughs> I was going to go with the curl of Courtney's because of oh. your lovely hair. Oh, yeah, that would... I just felt it's more fluffy. Now it's time for a performance from Katie Mack, recorded at the Old Cinema Laundrette in Durham.
city sits breathing while I sigh straight this A second, Sam. Is is your puppy now in our bubble? Ah, uh, puppy bubble, <laughs> bubble puppy. <laughs> See what I've got to work with. Here's another song from Courtney Dixon. Bubble. to 
Doggy so much. How oh, your dog's got no nose. <laughs> How does he smell? Fucking stinks. And now it's time for another performance from the old cinema laundrette. This time it's Phoebe. We are back with Courtney Dixon and we are about to play our favourite game, Daft or Not Daft, where our guest gets to choose which questions they answer. So it's up to you, Courtney, to pick Daft or Not Daft. Daft. Would you rather have a horse the size of a cat or a cat the size of a mouse? Definitely a horse the size of a cat. Everyone says that and it's the right yes. answer. Not Would you put it in your fantastic bag? Look at that. <laughs> Oh, imagine a little horse coming out of that. Oh, Sorry. a lap, oh, a lap, a lap horse. Its head just like <laughs> flowing in the wind. That's... Oh. <laughs> daft or not daft? I go not daft. Oh, okay. Other than music, where do you draw your influences from? I think um, a lot from talking to other people, and I travel a lot, like kind of just like around the country. So I think like meeting new people, um, that's always quite like influential, and like seeing their kind of life through their eyes I think it was kind of weird over lockdown because that source of like influence and inspiration and stuff kind of got taken away yeah. um so I got into aromatherapy um and uh trained to become a aromatherapist um, and that was really good because I found uh doing something that wasn't music kind of inspired and influenced music in a way because I just wasn't thinking about it and then like completely just like relaxed and found like a new kind of portal to like 
create That's kind of thing. What's the best essential oil to write patchouli. songs to? Patchouli. Oh, patchouli. Because yes. it's the communication oil. Is it genuinely? Yeah, yeah. it like um, relates to your like throat chakra. Wow. Um, so it is the communication essential oil. There we go. Daft or not daft? Daft. Daft. Yeah. <laughs> Fish or chips? Chips. Okay. Chips or dips? Dips. What is your favourite dip? Garlic. Garlic dips? Garlic dips. Really cheap and nasty garlic. Yes, the cheapest, like, the, the one that's almost a little bit spicy as yes. well. Yeah. Burns it, your skin if it goes yeah. on. <laughs> I like it. It looks like um, emulsion. It looks like paint. Yeah. Like, you could literally, it, it just doesn't look like it should be edible. And then it's the most delicious thing in the world. Yeah, oh, it's so good. especially when you're drunk. Right, daft or not daft? I do not daft. Hmm. Other than your own, what's your favourite song lyric and why? This is Bonnie Burr lyric. Um, in a... I don't know why, it just like totally just hits us like, oh, and it goes, um, I'd be happy as hell if you stay for tea. And I think because I'm northern, I see it as like, do you want to come over at my house for tea and have like, the tea? <laughs> he, he means like a cup of tea, I think. But to me, it's like when you first start going out with someone yeah. and you're like, do you want to come over for tea? And it's you're a like, big step in a relationship. <laughs> yeah, and every time he does it, I'm just like, <gasps> That's proper high school, isn't it? Like, yeah, do you want to do you come round for tea? Yeah. Uh, daft or not daft? Daft. Would you rather go on a bender with Sam Fender or on the lash with Johnny Cash? Ooh, that's a hard one. I think mm. they'd both be really fun. I'm going to say Sam Fender because I feel like he's, you know, like he's a bit more like... He's yeah. your age. He's younger. Not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> very, uh, that's yeah, very yeah, important. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we yes. did mention if you're on the last of Johnny Cash, it'll be you pushing his coffin rod, <laughs> getting pissed. <laughs> I should have said. Daft or not daft? Ooh, I'm going to go not daft. What's the worst lie you've ever told and the best? Oh, worst lie I've ever told was, so I lived in a flat, like, growing up, and I used to tell everybody that I used to live at number five, Cleedon Village, because anybody that knows South Shields, um, Cleedon's, like, very posh part mm -hmm. of South Shields, and I used to draw pictures of it um, for the other children at school because it used to have a spiral staircase and stuff, and I absolutely never used to live in that house, right? <laughs> and everyone used to know as well because they used to come over at my house for parties, and it was definitely a tiny flat at Chichester, <laughs> which is the roughest part of Shields. So I don't know what I was thinking. So that's a pretty bad lie. Uh, best lie, and I'm still kind of keeping it going, and uh, no one uh, actually does know this. I have this one hairstyle. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm telling you. Right? And it's like my hair's up in like big scarf like this, and every, everyone on night always comes over, and they're like, God, is that all your hair? Can I touch it? And I'm just like, yeah. It's all mine. It's all mine. It's so not, right? <laughs> <I> mean, exclusive. <laughs> totally exclusive, right? And every time, like, I kind of like get a boyfriend or something like that, and I have this one specific hairstyle and go on a night out and go back to the house, I have to do this like really sneaky move where I go like head scarf off, wait till they go up the toilet or something, and I'm like, tch, 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 hide it away. And then it's like, I just look like this again. And then, like, no one's ever realized. It's good. Okay, daft or not daft? Daft. Daft. What would you rather live without? Mirrors or bread? Mirrors. No, definitely bread. De you'd live without bread? Yeah, definitely. So you can look in a mirror? Yeah. <laughs> How would I get that without being wonky? Um, yeah, bread. I could live without bread, definitely. Because wow. we discussed this the other day and I was like, well, obviously I'll live without bread. And he was like, obviously I'll live without, live without mirrors. mirrors. I hate, yeah. I hate, I never want to look at myself ever. Yeah, do, and I bloody love a sourdough. <laughs> If you looked like Courtney, you would give up bread. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, point, and I'm in point. that other group of I need to try my damnedest <laughs> to do what I can, and I need a reflective surface to do that. <laughs> well, I've like I was thinking the other day, like oh, I'd love to be a vampire. Like that would be mint, wouldn't it? Eternal well, youth. Like you can get whatever you want. You can steal because you would just kill the person you stole. Off. Like you can do that it'd now. It'd be amazing. But then I thought, ah, oh, you wouldn't know what you look I've, like. I've got a little spoiler for you, Courtney. Oh, that garlic dip. Oh. I'm sorry, mate. I'm I hate, I'm so world. sorry, but... Oh my God, yeah. Would you rather be a vampire or have a garlic dip? <laughs> <laughs> I actually think I would sacrifice the garlic dip. If you could go on any of the reality TV shows, which one would it be? I'm, I'm going reality as far as, like, dog grooming programmes, <gasps> pottery, bake-off, any of them. perfect. Yes! <laughs> It is brilliant, isn't it? Do you know what I would want if I could go on a reality? Obviously, I could never actually go on Pooch Perfect because... Uh, You're not a dog. And, and I'm not Pooch Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could go on as a dog and I could groom my hair. There you go. 
Brilliant, thank you so much, Courtney. Uh, where can people hear and see more from you? Um, so uh, I'm on the old like social media, yep. so Instagram, Facebook, um, Spotify, all that. It's just all in the Courtney Dixon or Courtney Dixon's music. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Well, that's the end of the show, and I think we can all agree that that's going to go down in the annals of history as the best thing that's ever happened to anyone, ever. We're off to give the dog a bone. But before that, to play us out with her final song, it's Courtney Dixon with Bang Bang, Honey Honey. <laughs>